Hi, the topic for today's video is data analysis and cleaning. Before starting the video, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell notification icon to never miss out on our videos. Today, we have data that we can use it to our benefits. We have huge and huge amount of data, but it is raw data. But before using this raw data, we need to clean it and then we can perform analysis visualizations on it. We can perform these visualizations and analysis using pandas to clean and visualize and gain intuitions from our data. Now let's see how we can do that. And in this video, I have used exploratory data analysis or EDA. It plays a critical role in understanding the why, what and how of the problem statement. It's first in the order of operations that a data analyst will perform when handed a new data source and problem statement. Now, if a data source or a new raw data is given to any of the data analyst, he will first perform EDA on it because it has seven steps from data cleaning to data visualizations in it. Now, let's see. Exploratory data analysis is an approach to analyzing data sets by summarizing their main characteristics with visualizations. The EDA process is a crucial step prior to building a model in order to unravel various insights that later become important in developing a robust algorithmic model. Now, let's see what is data exploration. If we wish to build an impeccable predictive model, Neither any programming language nor any machine learning algorithm can award it to you unless you perform data exploration on it. Data exploration not only uncovers the hidden trends and insights but also allows you to take the first steps towards building a highly accurate model. So to build a highly accurate model, we have to explore our data and we have to know what we have as our data and we can perform EDA on it to clear the data and clean all the missing values and the outliers from it to have a accurate model. Then major time needs to be spent on data exploration, cleaning and preparation as this would take major part of the project time. Data cleaning can support better analytics as well as all round business intelligence which can facilitate better decision making and execution. Now let's import pandas and let's see how pandas can help us with that. Now pd.read csv. We have a data frame of the titanic data set. Passenger ID, uh, he survived or not. Then its class, his name is gender, then age. Then if he or she has siblings uh, or PR, then ticket number, then the fare, cabin and embark columns. Now let's use EDA steps to clean and look into our data. The step one is variable identification. Now let's see what is variable identification. So dependent variable is that variable which we have to predict. So we have to predict the fare with using the predictor variables. So what are the predictor variables? Predictor variables are P class, sex, age, siblings or spouse and embark. So this five columns will be used as predictor variables to predict the fare using the algorithm models. Now let's see our df.head. So we have the first five columns. Then let's see the info. Then in info we can see we have 418 entries from 0 to 417. Then we have our 12 columns with age having some null values. Then we have one, va one null value in fare and many null values in the cabin columns. Now let's see how many null values do we have. So for that we use df dot is null dot sum. Yes, now we can see we have 86 null values in age, 3 to 7 in cabin and 1 in fair. Now df dot d types. Now let's see the column data types which are integer object and float. Let's describe our data frame. So we can see we have count, mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum of our whole data set of only the integer columns. 
we have integer and float columns we have one two three four five six and seven columns of integer and float as we have here now let's see what are the next six steps of eda so the second step of eda is univariate analysis so what is univariate analysis so univariate analysis is that as the name suggests univariate so one variable so we perform this analysis with only one column like if you want to know how many gender or how many males and females were there in our data set then we can use this univariate analysis and then plot a bar plot for for that for to know if uh, there how many males and females were there in our data set and then bivariate analysis means two variable analysis so we can use scatter plot and heat map heat map shows the correlation between each of the columns like it will show what was what is the relation between the age and survived or it will show the relation between the fare and the passenger ids or between the si sibling and spouse so we have heat maps scatter plots and bar plots and bivariate analysis let's see how in step 4 how we can use missing values treatment so missing values could occur due to several reasons like during data extraction that is while fetching the data required for the analysis so if you have any technical glitch or there is some data loss due to extraction then we have missing values or during data collection itself there could be some fields for which the values may not have been collected then st the step 5 outlier treatment outlier is an observation that appears far away and diverges from all the pattern in a sample now suppose the age is between 0 and 100 or maybe 150 but if the user entered 1000 or in negative then it is a problem and it is a outlier and we have to remove it so let's see what are the causes of outlier data entry errors human errors such as errors caused during data collection recording or entry can cause outliers in data measurement error when a, when the measurement instrument used turns to be faulty intentional error this is commonly found in self reported measures that involves sensitive data data processing error when data is collected from different sources sampling error data considered which is not part of the sample natural outlier when an outlier is not artificial or it is not due to an any error above mentioned it is a not natural outlier and we don't have to remove this natural outliers but only we have to deal with the five outliers mentioned over here and we can detect the outliers by using the box plot now let's see the step 6 which is variable creation then variable creation is a process to generate new variables or features based on the existing variables we can also call this call it as dummy variables so dummy coding provides one way of using categorical predictor variables in various kinds of estimation models such as linear regression dummy coding uses only values of ones and zeros to convey have all the necessary information on the group membership now if the group has male and female so the male will be converted to zeros and the female will be converted to ones so we will have the values like in zeros and ones or we can ha also have a separate columns for males and separate column for females so in column of males if the value in the sex column is male then uh, in the column of the dummy variable we have one as male and if it's female it's zero and in the female column it is one if it's female otherwise it's zero so it's a dummy variable creation in variable creation now the step 7 is feature engineering or variable transformation in data modeling transformation refers to the replacement of variable by a function so we apply some function so that our data is transformed or replaced according to it now for instance replacing a variable x by the square or cube root or its log is the transformation 
This transformation help in reducing skewness. For right skew distribution, we take square root or cube root or use logarithm of the variable. And for left skewed, we take square of it. We have performed this step to achieve linearity and regression models. So this linearity is very helpful in the regression models may it be linear regression or logistic. If you all want a problem statement or a video on how we can apply ADA on a problem statement from the step 1 to step 7, split, please put it in the comment section if you want the video. And if you like the video, please press the thumbs up button. And also if you have any doubts, put it in the comment section below and we will get back to your doubts. Thank you.